Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, like Butter here. Today I'm going to be bringing you my first scary let's play in over about a year and a half. Um, there's kind of a reason why I haven't really done scary let's plays and one of those reasons is because I moved in with my girlfriend in Maryland um, about a year and like a month ago um and this house is was like built in the 1900s like scary scary house at night um you know it's got the old door handles the old creaky doors everything you think about when you think about a haunted house so i've kind of been straying away from the scary let's plays because as most of you know i get scared a lot when i play these creepy games and i can hear this crazy music playing in my my headset right now my my headset's so loud um, but I thought I would kind of man up a little bit and uh, I've been having so many comments over the years Drew are gonna start scary let's plays up again, and I thought I would do that So um, we're starting with a little bit of a smaller game today. This is gonna be posted around 5 p.m. Um, on uh, Friday and the reason for that is because well I'm gonna be streaming tonight so if you're watching this right now, maybe daylight where you live. Um, tonight we're gonna have like a scary let's play like marathon almost. I'm gonna be playing like three or four games tonight. I think I'm even gonna be joined with Landon for a couple of them, and uh, it's gonna be a really awesome time. So I'm looking forward to it. But without further ado, uh, this is Five Nights at Freddy's. This is the demo. Um, it's on Steam Greenlight right now. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, this is the only one that you can play. I could be wrong. Uh, maybe some of the bigger YouTubers have like a, a larger version of the game, but I thought we would uh, give it a go. I've never played this. I watched Aaron play it a little bit earlier today. Um, he had like 10,000 viewers on Twitch, which is amazing. I was talking to him and he said he wants to do some videos soon, so I'm really excited for that. Um, you know, he was doing his thing today and he's crazy good at this game. He's like clicking the cameras really fast and I don't know what I'm going to be doing. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. I've never played this, so uh, it'll be interesting, and let's get a new game going. All right, Freddy, Fats, Bears, Pizza, Help Wanted. Okay, so I guess you get this job. You have to work from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. So you have to survive for six hours in this creepy-ass place. What is going on? I think it's loading. Oh, dude, it's already creeping me out. Um, phone. Okay. So these are the cameras. Hello. Hello. So this is where you are. Uh, I wanted to record a message for you to help you get settled in on your first night. Um, I actually worked in that office before you. I'm finishing up my last week now, as a matter of fact, so I know it can be a bit overwhelming, but I'm here to tell you there's nothing to worry about. Uh, you'll be fine. So let's just focus on getting you through your first week, okay? Uh, let's see. First, there's an introductory greeting from the company that I'm supposed to read. Uh, it's kind of a legal thing, you know. Um, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a magical place for kids and grown-ups alike, where fantasy and fun come to life. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or person. Can this All guy shut up, please? Or death have occurred, a missing person report will be filed within 90 days, or as soon as property and premises have been thoroughly cleaned and bleached, and the carpets have been replaced. Blah blah blah. Now that might sound bad, I know, but there's really nothing to worry about. Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night, but do I blame them? No. If I were forced to sing those same stupid songs for 20 years and I never got a bath, I'd probably be a bit irritable at night too. So remember, these characters hold a special place in the hearts of children and we need to show them a little respect. Right? Okay. So just be aware, the characters do tend to wander a bit. Uh, they're left in some kind of free roaming mode at night. Uh, something about their servos locking up and they get turned off for too long. Dude. Uh, they used to be allowed to walk around during the day, too. But then there was the bite of 87. Yeah. 
it's amazing that the human body can live without the frontal lobe, you know? But now, concerning your safety, the only real risk to you as a night watchman here, if any, is the fact that these characters, uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll, they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without its costume on. Now, since that's against the rules here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, they'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. Um, now, that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves weren't filled with cross beams, wires, and animatronic devices, especially around the facial area. So you can imagine how having your head forcefully pressed inside one of those could cause a bit of discomfort and death. Uh, the only parts of you that would likely see the light of day again would be your eyeballs and teeth that pop out the front of the mask. <laughs> yeah, they don't tell you these things when you sign up. But hey, first station of the breeze. I'll chat with you tomorrow. Uh, check those cameras and remember to close the doors only if absolutely necessary. Gotta conserve power. Alright, good night. Okay, so we have 70%, actually 69%. Um, so I guess the idea is you're using these cameras okay to make sure that these guys don't move what the fuck just happened oh one of them moved where did he move oh, okay he's in this room right here oh fuck oh dude I don't know what I'm doing So there's two in this room, a couple in this room. What's going on? Okay, so no one's here. So I have 61% left. We're almost through the first night. Pretty sure no one dies in the first night. So the idea is kind of keep your eyes on these. These, uh, I guess you'd say puppets or whatever you want to call them so I saw Aaron play this a bit I still don't know 100% what I'm doing but so there's nothing in the in the the rooms by me that so should be good Oh my god, they all left that room now. Oh, there's one here. There's one here still. Okay, so the rooms next to me are okay. I think we're gonna make it through the first night. At this point, since this is my first time ever playing this, I don't know. So the bear's still there. Uh-oh. That camera's not working. Fuck. Why? I swear to God, one of these things run up on me, I'm gonna scream like a little bitch. So the ducky's still there. Bear's still there. Now where is the... We're good to go. Oh, the rabbit's there now. Where did this... Oh, man. Alright, 
5 a.m. We should be getting through the first night, and I didn't really even have to do anything. No one there. Oh! He's in the restroom now. Okay, so those are the masks. Those are, that's actually not a person. So it's one, two, three. I think there's only three people that you have to deal with, I'm pretty sure. I hear some shit, dude. So we got through the first day. We didn't really have to do much. I think the first night's... I think the first night is pretty easy, though. We'll have to find out. Oh, if you guys can see this, I have goosebumps right now. This is insane. What the fuck was that? So they're in there. So there's three then. There's a bear, a duck, and a rabbit. Hello? Hello? Well, if you're here, listen, you made it to day two. Uh, congrats. I, I won't talk quite as long this time since Freddy and his friends tend to become more active as the week progresses. Uh, it might be a good idea to peek at those cameras while I talk just to make sure everyone's in their proper place, you know. Uh, oh, enough, he's not there. One of them is missing. I guess that's one more reason not to run out of power, right? Uh, I also want to emphasize the importance of using your door lights. Uh, there are blind spots in your camera views, and those blind spots happen to be right outside your doors. So if, if you can't find something or someone on your cameras, uh, be sure to check the door light. Uh, you might only have a few seconds to react. But not that you would be in any danger, of course. Uh, I don't see that. anyone. Uh, I don't also, see the third guy. Check on the curtain in Pirate Cove from time to time. The character in there seems unique in that he becomes more active if the cameras remain off for long periods of time. Uh, uh, I guess he doesn't like being watched. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I'm sure you have everything under control. Uh, talk to you soon. Oh, shit. He's in there, dude. Oh, my God. All right. Is he still in there? Oh, there's the ducky. And the bear's still in the first room. Oh, he moved. Where the <laughs> fuck? Oh, oh my god! Are you fucking kidding me, dude? That dude, what, like, <sighs> I died on night two. Okay, 
So. Uh, fuck. This is a creepy ass game. I'm definitely gonna be playing this um, Friday night. So this, you know, this is getting uploaded on Friday. If you want more, um, be sure to come to the stream. The link will be in the description. Uh, Twitch.tv slash like butter live in case you're on mobile phone or something like that. That was crazy. See, I haven't seen any of the jump scares because only like when I was watching Aaron do it, he, like he was passing every night. So obviously I gotta get better at this. But holy shit! I was looking at the camera too much. I'm like going through. Ugh. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like. Um, like I said, I hope to see you guys tonight. Uh, we'll probably do like two or three like different games. Uh, we may do some like Outlast for a bit and just kind of like switch it up. I don't know. Um, but yeah, thanks guys. And uh, <laughs> I'm not going to sleep anytime soon. Later, everybody.